Oh, were there monks in the old one? No, it was just... It looks so smooth. It does, yeah. Well, howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with Omega Wolf. Hi. So we're continuing Halo Combat Evolved. I had something I wanted to say, but then I forgot it. That happens to me a lot. We're currently on the Truth and Reconciliation mission. Oh, now I remember. Uh, there's actually a way to get an achievement for the 360 version. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's have four rounds left. Uh, or four, four more rounds left in the sniper rifle. At the end of this mission? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's, that's an achievement. Like, but even you just, all throughout the ship? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You just, the easiest way to do it is just not use it. You missed, apparently. <laughs> Switching to the old graphics. Yeah, because they just slapped on the paint. Oh, right, so like the, like the actual where they are is a little bit different. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, the terrain is... They just slapped a new paint on it. So. Right, because, I mean, they didn't want to alter the game that much. So. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, my gosh. Just destroy! Interesting how they're not, like... Because this is super loud. Yeah. Like, it's a sniper rifle. It, it, it It's loud, <laughs> you know? The rounds aren't specifically designed to not be heard. Right, and I mean, um... Oh! Oh! Do you have... Can you turn on your flashlight? Uh, I don't need to. Oh, okay. The Marines are still aren't going blazing in because the Covenant hasn't returned fire. Oh, hmm. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good thing. Right. You know, because honestly, like, the usual distances for, that you usually use for, like, sniper rifles in... in modern engagements is a lot longer than this. Yeah, but imagine. you also have a spotter. Right. Well, technically Cortana could be a spotter. Uh, but she doesn't. Dang. It's so loud. <laughs> Why don't they act? Because they're dumb. I forgot how dark this mission was. Yeah. I guess it's at night, so that makes sense. Let's see here. But wait a second, how... So is it just on the other side of the planet, then? Uh, it's... Up... Up spin, I think. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's orbiting a planet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Just, just go kill him. There's oh, a... Oh my gosh, you have so much ammo for this. Yeah. You have see. so much ammo for this, that's ridiculous. Four, 54 rounds just sitting there? Like, okay. normally normally when you play this in multiplayer, like, you don't get that many rounds. Then again, you die pretty often in multiplayer, so... Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that, was a, that was a shift. Oh, it's not so dark anymore. Yep. Oh! Uh. oh. Let's see here. Hello, Mr. Elite. Yeah, there's only, like, a couple of them in here. So I noticed something on multiplayer, because uh, I... While... Uh, after I was done editing videos, uh, when we did the last episode, uh, I think it was episode two. I don't know. That, yeah, on epi when, when we did episode two that night, I, uh, I went on Halo, uh, multiplayer for Halo 1. Uh, uh oh, on the Master <laughs> Chief Collection. And yep. the assault rifle's not very powerful. No, it's not. Not at all. And that's why they gave it 60 rounds. The, uh... Basically, running around multiplayer, you want to have a pistol. The pistol is so good. Yep. Compared to the you got to rifle. you have to turn off the enhanced graphics in order, in order to, to snipe. snipe. Oh my gosh! Because bam, can't see through. <sighs> Darn. Oh, looks like there's a an enemy over there, and now there's not an enemy over there. Let's see here. Um. So actually, we got kind of got exhausted from other games. Yeah. So we we're using this to get back into it. All right, because we we typically when we play Halo, we wax nostalgic on philosophical and esoteric topics. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we're kind of using this as a way to uh, get our energy back because Halo seems to be one of those games that that typically gives us energy and yeah we enjoy quite a bit so. That's what we're doing. But, I mean, <laughs> basically, if, if we hadn't made it clear, we plan on playing all of the Halo games uh, from... I thought he was throwing a grenade. From the beginning, from Halo Reach all the Let's way to here. Halo 5. 
Um, and we'll probably redo ODST, I think. Yeah, maybe. I think we should probably redo a ODST. Well, we both own ODST, so yeah. we, can, we can do co-op there. Oh, we could. Yeah, we could do co-op on... Oh, you have an actual disc. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Well... No, I downloaded it. Oh, okay, well, still. I mean, it's it's on the Xbox 360. We could do... Is it... It's um, over the ad hoc connection? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah, we could totally do that. That would be different, because not a whole lot of people I've noticed actually do that ad hoc Ow, uh, connection. that's got to hurt. But there's something about Halo that just draws out your challenge. It's just like, yeah! <laughs> Take this, that! This, I mean, this game is so nostalgic for me. It's... Just playing this, I almost want to like play it myself. You know, oh my gosh, you missed! Oh, you might have missed again. <laughs> that shield. <laughs> it's like he knew. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're on the left flank now. Yep. Actually, it'll change if we go down the middle. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. So, let's see here. Well, do you know what she says? Uh. She tells him to go down the left. Oh, I see. But the middle is a death sentence for the chief. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it changes so much. Yeah. <laughs> so we recently started uploading two episodes a day. So you, if you pay attention to, to the channel, you, you probably notice that. I mean, we don't have very oh, many Oh, with the active camel on, your light doesn't work. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, well it's bending light, I so... Guess, yeah, I guess that's that's true. You know, we actually have... Uh, remember back in the... It was like late 2000s, they actually cloaked that copper pipe? Uh, you remember that? Nope. There was like a copper pipe that they actually successfully cloaked. Uh, it's so dark. Can you share it to the other graphics? Yeah, there we go. It's so it's too dark for, for it to stay on there. Uh... Uh, it's so blinding. <laughs> okay. Goodness. Shoot him. There we go. Uh, Whoa. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry, Jackal. <laughs> you you didn't deserve that much death. You well, deserve death, well, but you, you didn't only, deserve that much. You only die once. Or a few times if you're Goku. <laughs> so... You only live five times. I mean, that's actually um, <laughs> that's actually something that uh, the Geneva Convention specifically. The reason that it exists is not is so that cruelty in war t in warfare, which I mean, war is cruel, chemical but, and other stuff like that. Because basically, a lot of the purpose of our modern warfare is to wound, so that we take them out of the fight, but but that our enemy has to extend resources in order to to. Uh, uh, to heal them. Yeah. And so you could say that using chemical warfare is, you know, it keeps them alive, but it's a really painful way to do it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, basically, you shoot them in a leg or something, or you You, you, you can fix them. that. You can fix that. Uh, I guess it'll hurt. It'll hurt, but it's not like you're burning to death or something. Or your like, lungs are burning yeah, to death. Yeah, like flame flamethrowers, for example, are outlawed by the Geneva Convention. As you can imagine, apparently the Geneva on... Convention doesn't exist in the Halo universe because you have <laughs> flamethrowers. Yeah, uh, being lit on fire is a terrible, terrible way to die. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's reasons why the Geneva Convention exists. Now, um, I forget what I was gonna say. For, forgot what my point was. But then again, oh, but I was gonna uh, say humans don't see elites as people, so they don't. So really, well, during this war, you don't consider any of these aliens people. So. Really, wow. Would well, you I... consider aliens that burn your planets to the grounds people? I guess not. No. And so, why would flamethrowers be outlawed? Right. I guess that makes sense. If they're so, destroying your planet, you got to use everything. I mean, they're you know? they're using ionized gas, which is fire at its purest form. Oh my gosh. To burn your world to cinders my goodness so hunters are just more fun to play in this but basically it's it's one of two things either you want to make sure that your your enemy doesn't suffer you know give him a quick or, and honorable death or or quick and honorable death that's more or less my understanding of why the geneva convention exists yeah right yeah but um there's actually a few kinds of bullets that were outlawed as well mm-hmm 
I think it's like a shredder type bullet. Oh my gosh. Basically, it's designed to fragment entirely into just oh, tiny that would little. Be so terrible to pull out. Oh my gosh. No, like it fragments, keeping the momentum and just explodes out. Yeah. Well, that would also get lodged in the body. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be terrible. I think those are sh uh, outlawed by the Geneva Convention. And then there's also. Um, but I think there are some fragmentation, like hollow tip mm -hmm. bullets. Those are okay. They can't enter body armor, but they are designed to expand. Right. The surf increase the surface area. Yeah. So, but the I think the shredders are absolutely outlawed. Oh, I see. Goodness. War is scary, yo. <laughs> hey, let's let's go ahead and call the episode here. Sound okay. good? Okay. Sure. Well, anyway, uh, this is Frackbox. This is Megwolf. Have a great day. Stay safe.